So my experience applying for unemployment has been awful. Um, it's a system that's fractured, that's failed, and it's just, it's shameful really. From Millions of Americans like 44-year-old Nick Pena are out of work. The Florida-based travel advisor lost his job with the collapse of the state's main industry, travel and tourism. Now he spends his days and nights sitting at his computer trying to get unemployment benefits. It's been uh, a nightmare uh, from sleepless nights, uh, setting up timers, uh, telling Alexa to wake me up at 2, 3 in the morning because the rumor has it that that's the right time to go in, uh, that you're going to get into the system. And night after night after night, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, 7 a.m., uh, and you just can't get into the system. After trying relentlessly for days at all different times, um, I thought, you know what, maybe if I call in, maybe if I email, I sent them an email, no but to date, two, three weeks later, nobody's responded to my email. Um, you call and the, the system hangs up on you if you get through. While many state computer and phone lines are struggling to keep up, Florida is a standout. It has managed to answer only 2% of incoming phone calls according to state documents obtained by local media. And it lags neighboring states like Georgia when it comes to how many unemployment claims it has processed so far. Facing widespread outrage, Republican Governor Ron DeSantis has taken steps to bolster the system, but he has not said when the problems will be fixed. In the meantime, Florida has turned to paper applications, but critics warn that comes with its own set of problems. Besides slowing down the process of getting money out to those who need it, long lines to get the paper form can increase the risk of spreading the coronavirus. For Pena, he finally got to file his claim, but weeks later, he's got nothing, no checks and no answers. Bills are coming due, uh, mortgages, rent payments, car payments, insurance payments, all of those don't stop, you know, life continues. And, and when I thought, okay, this, this, I'll be all right because I'm gonna be getting this assistance. And the reality is that this assistance is nowhere in my immediate future anyway. And at this point, I wonder if we're ever really ever gonna get it in Florida. And so um, it's very scary. Pena says he's had enough of insensitive politicians. What I think would really be helpful for the people of Florida is an apology, is some empathy from our leaders to say, hey, we know that this is not right. We know, we feel your pain. We know that you guys are out there and you're suffering and you're counting on this money and we're gonna make it right. But we don't hear that from them. We just hear empty promises. I put my trust into a party, into an administration that I now realize slapping me in the face doesn't have my best interest in mind. So will I be voting differently in the future? Absolutely.